Governor Kathy Hochul today joined the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, MTA, to take a special Long Island Railroad lure test train to Grand Central Terminal and gave the public one of the first ever looks at the new 350,000 square foot east side access passenger terminal there. This is the largest new train terminal to be built in the United States since the 1950s and the first expansion of the LUR in more than 100 years. Together with the LUR third track project, the new connection will add 50% to the LUR's capacity into Manhattan with up to 24 trains per hour and cut travel time for Queens and Long Island commuters traveling to the east side by 40 minutes per day. It will also reduce crowding on commuter rail at Penn Station and on the subway by dispersing commuters and allowing passengers to go directly to Grand Central Terminal from destinations across Queens and Long Island. The new commuter rail route and concourse officially open in December 2022. Thank you, Dano, and what a celebration of collaboration. That's exactly what we experienced today as we had the narrated ride in from Jamaica Station to come here to get a sense of what our customers will soon be experiencing literally just over one year from now. As you can see, the construction continues, but it continues at a rate that was not going on before Jana Lieber took the helm at the MTA. And I'm so proud of the work that has been done in the past by so many talented individuals who put their heart and soul into projects like these the men and women of labor, the people who from the Long Island Railroad filling for his leadership, uh, Anthony Simon, incredible, credible people who have made a difference. And the whole focus of this, and will be the hallmark of my administration going forward, is to identify infrastructure projects that need to be accomplished to make the customer experience extraordinary. Everyone who lives downstate, Long Island, New York City, they deserve this. This is the greatest region on the earth, and it deserves to have the best transportation networks as well. And our disadvantage has been that our transportation network started a century ago, way before other parts of the country had developed them. So we have aging infrastructure and much more demand and to have responded with this incredible facility. Engineering, like there's never been done, long 14 miles of new track, much of it underground, and to do this, continuing this during a pandemic, please don't overlook the incredible work that was done when other people were able to zoom into their jobs and these individuals showed up day after day after day despite the risks of themselves. So I wanna applaud everyone involved in this. One year from now, a little over one year from now, the 162,000 customers will say, wow. Uh, and this is not a trick, this is going to be the treat for them as we make these announcements and had this ride on Halloween here. Uh, I also want to say this is how we're going to continue our work. I have identified so many more projects that need to be activated and to get people back to work and to give our customers, our riders, uh, a sense of optimism as we're coming through the dark pandemic era. They need to know that we are not relenting in our effort to deliver them incredible services by amazing, amazing workers here. And so we're going to be reducing commute times that's music to everyone's ears. Uh, that means you can take a little longer getting ready in the morning. That means you're gonna see your kids sooner at the end of the day, reducing the round trip commute by 40 minutes. Every minute, commute, every minute matters when you're a commuter. That's gonna be extraordinary. We're gonna increase the LAR capacity in Manhattan by 45%, 45%. So the crowded trains that people have been accustomed to, uh, that will be in the past no longer. We're also gonna extend the Metro North Railroad into Penn Station for the first time. Let's get that done, get these projects finished. And we're gonna have better connections to Metro North Railroad. Also, you think about, we're gonna get more people saying, yes, I do wanna have that experience. More people will be saying, I'll take mass transit, I'll take the train instead of taking their vehicles. It'll affect the overall air quality here as well. So, so this economic development project is also, this is also an economic development project. Uh, above us, we are 150 feet underground, which is amazing. This is the largest project of its kind in the country. But the sensitivity that was undertaken in the engineering of this project, literally to have buffers and cushioning so the noise does not disrupt the thousands of workers above, that is forward thinking. And I wanna applaud everybody who made that happen as well. So I'm excited. Uh, this is the largest commuter rail unit built in the United States since the 1950s. High five to everybody for getting that done, extraordinary. 
and also we're going to be having easier, easy, easier access from JFK Airport as well via the AirTran to the Jamaica station. So we got it done, almost done. Almost, almost done. I'm very excited. Uh, we're almost done. But this is a major milestone, and I thank all of you for coming out on, a, on an early Sunday morning to celebrate this, and again, to thank everybody who's been involved and all the people you don't see here today uh, for what they've done. So uh, this is how I celebrate Halloween. I come out and say this is a real treat for the New York City region and Long Island. So uh, thank you very much.